I have this package from Amazon. Oh, this is <laughs> a, a two-pack of kitchen timers. I called the line at uh, a local rifle match, and that involves some timing, and I ordered these from Amazon. forgot about these. This, however, is a uh, digital multimeter, and you see there's no name. On it, I guess they make these, and whoever wants to buy enough of them, they'll customize them for that seller. So this looks a lot like the box and the packaging that my uh, the last meter I looked at, I think, was an Astro AI. Exact same accessories. Not quite, they're very flexible, but they're not silicone. And this is 20 gauge wire. Well, this meter is branded. I can't even imagine what this is. Very light, nothing to it. These are uh, correctly spaced, three-quarter inch banana jacks, as they should be. I don't see any exposed screws. And we do have to open it up in order to put the battery in. I don't see the fuse size indicated. Well, here's the fuse size. 10, 10 amp at 250 and 600 milliamps 650. But are they good fuses or are they just pieces of glass? Let's see. Okay, that's a machine screw. That's good. It's not captive, but it could be better. Okay, that comes off nicely. Here we go. There's a cover here. <laughs> it must cover the whole meter. What a bear! I mean, that's good, but it's also tough. Cosmetically, you wouldn't even know this thing was removable. Now we have four screws. But these are not machine screws. These are self-threading screws. See little pieces of plastic that comes out of self Threading screws. It's a tough little bastard. The uh, tongue and groove system is really tight, which is, I suppose, to be good. All right, so we have springs. 
and make contact with the battery terminals. We have some sort of a LED. I believe this is for the non-contact uh, voltage indicator. These are ceramic fuses, but they're not. You know, it would have been nice if the 10 amp fuses were that size. Current shunt. Could that be the current shunt? Some kind of a current shunt. We'll just take a quick look at this. There's no components. Looks like there was at one time provisions for a shunt that has been replaced with that little teeny tiny fellow. Looks like there's little LEDs here. Let me know we're talking tiny LEDs going into light pipes that lead to the uh, jacks. I'm not going to lift that out. There's a zebra strip here. This is merely just an antenna. And we'll see what kind of damage we've done by taking it apart. And then these. A little bit springy, but that's because we're compressing the uh, silicon bronze contacts on the switch. Well, these four posts. when inverted, supposedly hold these in position. These are not tubes and they're not soldered, they're just half circles. And I think even in the, uh, the Anig, they fit more snugly in the plastic. These might loosen up over time because they're just a wrap. So we've got, a, a, again, a, a couple of PTCs. I hope the fuse clears before that shunt <laughs> decides to give up the ghost. The crystal has been tacked in both ends. I mean, one end's wire, the other end's tacked. does have a really good tongue and groove flame suppression system. I would not be afraid to hold this in my hand, I guess. Digits are not as big as I thought they might be. I bet they maybe have other stuff at times displayed around the periphery. It would be nice if we could get to access to the fuses without taking this off, without disassembling the whole meter. I will struggle to get this back on. Maybe. It's mechanically rugged. 
I don't know about that little tiny surface mount uh, shunt resistor. I'd like a piece of wire. And it looks like they had provisions for a piece of wire. Alright, it's telling me by blinking LEDs where I should put my wire. Where I could should put my um, probes. These fit pretty nicely. You'll note that I'm just tur now turning this on. Well, that's not bad. I mean, this is uh, calibrated at five. But as I say, it's not warmed up. I'd say mechanically, this thing feels really, really good. The switch feels nice. I'm not sure the flashing LEDs do anything. We do have a non-contact voltage tester. We do have a place to store the probes. I like that. Hang on the wall. That's sometimes nice. We'll have to see what this is. So we have what? The flashlight. Well, that's not. So on the Hertz, it's going to display the frequency and the the uh, duty cycle. That's fine. We have Hertz and millivolts. So that's how we switch between AC and DC. Millivolts. Volts. Twenty five volts DC. And bar graph. That's twenty five. AC. When AC is selected, it reads uh, the frequency. I'll stick it in an outlet. Hopefully we won't blow anything up. Oh, look at that. So 60 hertz, 120.6 volts. We have a hold, we have a maximum minimum, we have no relative. Auto power off in 15 minutes. So if I want to tell if something is hot, like a, an outlet, I turn it to NCV. I select the live, we'll take the probe and stick it in the outlet. So that's sticking the the red probe in the socket. Let me see what the black probe does. Alright. 
it's not only non-contact, but I don't need to use two probes to tell if a wire's hot. If I can make contact with it, just capacitance or inductance will... And there's no current flow, so I guess it's capacitance. That's pretty nice. Over here in the ohms, we have auto-ranging ohms. We can change function. Well, I like the display. I like the mechanical build. Four machine screws instead of self-tapping screws make the fuses accessible under here and I would really like spare fuses is this usable? it is usable the bale, I can push the buttons and the bale just sits here. Now granted I'm on a non-slip pad but the bale's far enough back to make this work. The switch feels really nice. I wish we had a relative and it wouldn't hurt to have two uh, slots, at least in one side, so that I could perhaps use the meter as a probe. As it is, they recess the probe, and they don't do a very good job of it. I mean, the idea of recessing it is to get the tip out of the way. Here the tip is just a little bit sticking forward. Not far enough to do you any good. Far enough to stick you. Ouch. Yeah, that's not well done. Alright, that's a $35 meter. Here's the... Uh, Amazon